Hey guys, you know who it is, what's going on, what is happening, where it's at, and why we're here today. How you doing? It is I, the sublimely magnificent big up with himself, Omari Ellis Feo Grande, back with another episode of our new show, Mock Draft. Where we draft various things, we can tell you all about it. I'm joined with my co-host and running mate, one of my best friends in the world, El Director himself, Bill Smith. Omari, mock draft. Yes, we're gonna play with. Uh, we're gonna play. Uh, drafting things is fun, yes. and so we're just gonna pick random things and we're gonna draft them. Like this week, uh, where we're going to do best Looney Tunes character football team. We've got a list of Looney Tunes characters, we'll put them right here. Those are going to be our possible options for our draft of our football team, where we are going to have to fill quarterback, running back, wide receiver, one member who's going to represent our offensive line, as well as one member who's going to represent our defensive line. We're going to have to draft one linebacker, one corner, one safety, and then one single head coach. Omari, what do you got into Looney Tunes? What have I got into Looney Tunes? Yeah, what do you, 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 you a Looney Tunes? Have you ever oh, been a Looney Tunes dude? <laughs> yes, very much so when I was younger, so much that I, I distinctly have a memory of high school us playing seen it and it was the guys with the girlfriends and omari uh <laughs> it was guys versus girls and i was the only one I, I felt i was the only one actually playing the game or being competitive but there was but to long story short there was a point where the question was what was written on mel blanc's grave and for whatever reason in the moment the name mel blanc didn't stick with didn't ring who that was but it was familiar enough that i knew i knew the answer if i could just put a what mel blanc was um one of our friends goes give me liberty or give me death i'll take death and i'm like no that's not the damn answer and then eventually i couldn't do it they say the answer is that's all folks and i'm like God. I should have known it. He's a voice of Looney Tunes. <laughs> uh, he's everybody that talks on Looney Tunes just about for a long time. So I was like, ah, and then I'm like, Omar, he's not that serious. <laughs> I'll get laid if I lose. I'm <laughs> It's good. <laughs> but yeah, but no, I was a big fan of Looney Tunes as a kid and stuff. Obviously, I haven't seen a lot of their recent stuff because. Right. Mm. But, but yeah, yeah, the classics and then Space Jam. Yeah. Is kind of our generation. Pretty and, much. And I'm 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 right there with you. Yeah, I've seen uh, uh, there, there, there was a couple of characters on this list where I maybe couldn't have told told you their full name. Um beyond any of the characters that I put on here there there it starts to get pretty gray area as I was assembling yeah. our list here it was like oh yeah I, I think I remember <laughs> that character I, I agree Maybe like they had it, one cartoon yeah when it comes to people with names I'm like okay yeah I I remember you from the one thing maybe now that I see you mm-hmm and speaking of the the newer stuff, some folks may see this list and say, "Where is Lola Bunny?" And I felt like Lola Bunny was a modern character that wasn't didn't fit in this list of what we were doing. I know Space Jam, I love it, but like this is more of like a classic cartoons thing. What? I'm not sure if you saw my looks on my faces that I was doing, but like shortly before you made your point. But I was looking at the list of characters because I was like looking at the list of characters to be like, yeah, I don't know. Some of these are one offs. I can know them. And I saw Lola Bunny's name. And then I looked up at the list of names we have. And I was like, we didn't include the the athlete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One, I thought it was a little obvious on that. And then two, she's just a strictly Space Jam forward character. No, and I it got just, it. Too. It just felt like this list was building to more of a classic cartoons vibe. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just funny because when you said that, I was just like, as you were saying, people are wondering, where's Lola Bunny? I'm literally making weird faces because I'm wondering to myself, how didn't we pick it? <laughs> so you're like answering my question in real time. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, Omari. So uh, we thought of uh, we did rock, paper, scissors to begin our ongoing fantasy league, which is going to be coming up uh, again here in about a month or more. Keep uh, tabs on that. Things are rocking and rolling, making me watch wrestling in a completely different way now. It's so <laughs> fun and hilarious. That's what I love about um, fantasy sports. Yeah. It makes you so suddenly more invested. <laughs> um. <laughs> So stay tuned for more of that. But uh, we did rock, paper, scissors last week, but we thought we'd switch it up and do something a little different, Mark. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try and guess the year of, what was it, the first Looney Tunes cartoon? First Looney Tunes cartoon? Yeah. The first year, uh, the year that the first Looney Tunes cartoon debuted. And yeah, we were going to go from there, I believe. Um, uh, so do you want to guess mean, with, with evidence that we already have to our fingertips at this, on this sheet right here, where, where I included a visual reference of some of the characters, uh, that we're going to be drafting for. I do see one that's in black and white. Yeah. So that's, um. That that that's about that's about as much of a hint as I have. Um, <laughs> yeah, I see the same black um, and white one. I'm going to say twenty seven. Ooh, twenty seven. I'm going to say nineteen. I don't know. 32 is popping in my head. 32. At first I wanted to say 40 something, but then I, but then yeah, the, the the Gabby goat black and white made me rethink about that. But yeah. So I'm going to say 32. Right. And well and we also know that there's Looney Tunes cartoons associated to World War II. Also true. So... Made for like USO shows and stuff like that. So yeah, they they well, did Looney Tunes get into that, or was it just uh, what you call it? Disney? I I believe it was both, okay. but I could be wrong. I just let's, let's let's find out. So so yeah, so now Omari's gonna live Google for us, uh, and we'll 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 find out. I trust Omari to provide the true answer because we could all Google it right now and know. So why true. would he lie? Um, <laughs> Looney Tunes first cartoon. What year did you have? I had 1927. All right. So when I type that into Google, I have Sinking in the Bathtub starring Bosco. The first Looney Tunes short. Night released in 1930. Uh yeah, 1930. Okay. So you said 32, so you were closer, so you will get first pick. All right. Or did you say thirty-one? You're even closer. Either either I, number, I said, you're, you're I said the closest. 32. Okay. So yeah, you will have first pick in the draft, and then do we want to just snake it like we did last week? Yeah, we can snake it like we did last week. I think that's always a good, fair way to do it with the two of us. Yeah. On this. Okay. Um. So yeah, in that case, it's kind of hard not to pick because well. He's the face of the franchise. And when he's the face of the franchise, I suppose that means he's your quarterback. So it's going to be Bugs Bunny. I mean, yeah. He, Bug, Bugs <laughs> Bunny is the only one on here with true main character energy. Yeah. When you have main character energy, anything is possible. Oh, yeah. Anything is possible. Page. All right. So, yeah. I got Bugs Bunny as the number one pick of the draft, and I mean, come on now, guys, it's it's Looney Tunes. Let's let's be honest. We much like our wrestling draft last week, and just knowing the current climate of WWE, we're like, something, who's getting Cody Rhodes? Cody Rhodes. <laughs> this one is like, who gets Bugs Bunny? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, that's, that's really, that's really the truth of the matter here. Um, so, uh, I am going to put like last week, I'm going to start putting 30 seconds on the clock, uh, oh, yeah. which has started now. Uh, I am going to look through this here and I am going to go ahead and draft for the first pick of the draft, the Tasmanian devil as my running back. Uh, beefy speedy back starting starting the clock again i am going to draft oh whoa oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. 20 seconds on the clock um uh who's got an arm who's got an arm who's got an arm eight five Four. I am going to draft Elmer Fudd as my quarterback. <laughs> I was gonna make Omari, you're on the I clock. Was, I was gonna <laughs> make some kind of I, that the reason I was laughing is I was like, clock. how can we do the arm thing? It's a gun. It's gun <laughs> finger. It's either Elmer Fudd or Yosemite Sam. That's why I started laughing to myself because I'm like, you could do a gunslinger as a yeah, yeah. He's a <laughs> gunslinger. That that was literally my mindset. <laughs> I was like, do you take the do you take the anti main character energy and do I draft Daffy as my quarterback? I don't think so. Like Daffy's kind of. Daffy's the butt of the joke. Like I don't, you don't want the like that's a that's a like a Mark Sanchez as your quarterback. Yeah. All right. So uh, you are on the clock. Oh, let me turn my phone back on. Now, obviously, you want a big scary presence on the line, or at least a big presence on the line. If it's offensive, you probably want it to be more friendly. But if it's defensive. You want that motherfucker? You want them motherfuckers to be scary? You ain't getting past me. And so I'm gonna remind people a little friend of ours, Gossamer. I'm putting him as my defensive lineman. I thought about making him a linebacker because you know pursuit and beat shit out of people. But if he's on the line, it's gonna be hard to just get through him. You want to put big motherfuckers on the line. And so you were back on Gossamer. the clock. All right. And after that, offensive line. Um. Actually, no, I'm going to go linebacker. Actually, no, offensive line. You want the big boys. You know who's a big boy, even though he may be short? Porky Pig. Putting Porky Pig on my offensive line. They, he ain't got to go against Gossamer. He got to go against other people. <laughs> Who are smaller okay. than Gossamer. <laughs> yeah, I got Porky. All right, all right. I like I like both of those choices. Uh, you got a giant <laughs> dude on the defense, and then just a, yeah, a stout a stout low to the ground pick. You got a Jason Kelsey. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna be, put myself back on the clock. Um, where do I want to go here? Where do I want to go? I let's uh, let's continue taking the the big the big boys off the the board here. Um, I am going to draft Mr. Foghorn Leghorn as my offensive line. It's not bad. Uh, and then, um, you know, she loves to get at it. <laughs> uh, and I need her to get at that quarterback like she gets at Bugs Bunny. Which Hazel is going to be... Um, uh, my defensive line, little Miss Hairpins. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I had thought about uh Falkhorn as a coach just because I think that'd be funny with him yelling all the time. Boy, I'd say, boy, catch that ball! <laughs> You're messing it up, boy! <laughs> just on the sidelines, going crazy at people. All right, so I had to think about this. Uh. I, I want a dog on defense, and I want a dog, and we got a dog on this list. Actually, do we have a couple of dogs? No. Yeah, we just got the one. I'm going Hector the Bulldog, and I think I'm making him my linebacker. 
Yeah. Hector is my linebacker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And actually, Mike. Let's see. I need a running back, too. Let's go. You know what? I was wondering if I should do him as a receiver. Actually, no. Low to the ground. I'm going with the I'm going with the fast. Damn, I don't know who's faster. Fuck it. Let's go. Roadrunner. You can't catch his ass. Roadrunner. Let's go. Roadrunner <laughs> on, on running back? Uh, yeah. I thought about receiver at one point, but no, running back. It's, it's all right, huh. all right. Those are both great choices. Both great choices. Uh, did I move them all over? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. I am going to put myself on the clock here. Um, yeah. and where do I go? So, I am going to do. Well, you took you took the speed demon off of the one of the speed demons off the board, so I need to grab the other one. I'm gonna put Speedy Gonzalez as my wide receiver. All right. And then I am going to put Mr. Wiley Coyote on my cornerback position. All right. And my thought on that is I feel like he is just kind of accidentally catching lots of things okay is is kind of is one of the is one of the themes of his life is things accidentally falling into his hands usually things he doesn't want bombs uh or uh, rockets or 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 things of that nature but i feel like i'm going to get a lot of accidental interceptions just from him being in the right place at the right time so then the offensive team can dogpile him. Um, that's kind of my vision there. Okay. So Wiley Coyote off the board as well as Speedy Gonzalez. Nice. Yeah, I was trying to decide between Speedy and Roadrunner. Um, <clears throat> now. Two more rounds left for you, Omari. So, real quick question. If we get somebody, will we be able to swap a position later i'm just asking I, if you say no that's fine too i don't know what you mean like let's say i draft somebody and then i'm like oh i want to switch their position with this other person on my team no we're we're, we're locked because okay. we're not doing anything that's what i'm saying that's yeah. why i asked if we're locked we're locked okay yeah so i'm gonna pick that that it, this particular choice was affected by that but so Fester, I'm picking him as my corner because he's used to pursuit and you know chasing down folks. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I got Sylvester there. Similar, both very similar vibes on our corners. Yeah. Yes. Um, and that means I need what a wide receiver, uh, safety, coach, wide receiver. Ooh. You know what? Damn it. Fuck it. That he. No one's picked up the man. I'm picking him up because he's still got the deuteragonist energy, even if he can be the butt of a joke sometimes. But he's definitely a diva. Daffy is my wide receiver. Uh, you got the you got the bugs. I know Daffy connection, which can be great. It could and also can be toxic. It very yeah. much can. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm aware of what I've done. But he needs to be it's on lightning the in a bottle. It can it can Ooh. explode at any moment. <laughs> yeah. It it can explode when the plot needs it to. <laughs> <laughs> a regular weekly game, we're probably not gonna do it. If we're in the championship and we need a clutch situation, Bugs to Daffy is gonna be <laughs> Yep, yep. Uh so that's that. I think I'm just <laughs> Yeah, I think it's back to you because I just picked um, it. Okay, I am going to draft my head coach. All right. I know I don't know where he lies in the canon, but I know he's one of the OGs, one of the deep uh, uh, back in the day colored first colored uh, uh, cartoons. Um, uh, not only that, but in the nineties, 
he ran his own television network called the CW. <laughs> I'm drafting Michigan J Frog as my head coach. Uh, and then uh, I have safety and linebacker left. And it looks like the odds are stacked against me to where I am going to be forced into my final choice. Whatever you leave me. So, with that in mind, I am going to try and pick the best possible option right here, which I think is going to be Tweety to my safety position. Okay. She flies. Nimble. Eyes always going, recognizing uh, threats. Um, I, I, uh, consider, I, think, I think that's a good safety spot. I consider Tweety as a receiver, but I was like, fuck it, I'm picking Daffy. But yeah, yeah, she can Tweety. just float deep and just keep her eyes on the field. Uh, I, I like her in the safety spot. Yeah. Um. So that leaves three people left. And... <clears throat> Yeah, I thought about picking him as a running back earlier, and I probably should have, but uh, I'm just going to... You got safety and head coach left to fill. Yeah. Yo, my my head coach is going to be Yosemite, Yosemite Sam. Yeah, and I then, feel like that that's the clear option of what's uh, left. Yeah, and he's cool. he's going to be really, like, he's the angry, <laughs> like, he's the always stomping and yelling head coach. And <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, and... He would have made a better running back because people stay away from him. But I didn't want... Eh, oh. Okay. Damn it. Implications aside, the dude is about... I, I just want to... Ah, fuck it. I like Marvin more. Fuck it. Marvin the Martian is my safety. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. That's the. I was gonna say you gave you gave me too good of an option there because Pepe Le Pew is the better linebacker. He's gonna be bodying people. Well, uh, see, um, I was gonna pick him as a safety because he's all you about scared the of the implications. I ain't scared because he's all because it's gonna be like he's all about per, the pursuit. But that's uh -huh. a little bit too much of a. No, he. he to, you know what I mean. He ain't on the pursuit. He is on people. They, they he is bodying them. He is. He is. <laughs> He is putting hands on people if they come through the lane. That is the linebacker that I need. You gave me the best linebacker on the board for the final draft. Pepe Le Pew is my linebacker. All right, Omari, those are our teams. Defend your team right now. Defend my team. I got the main character. Run them, run, run them down, and then defend them. <laughs> All right, so a quarterback... I, I got, got the main both. character. <laughs> yeah, he is winning the movie. Like, if this is a movie, he's... Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the defense of my team is I have the main character. Uh, <laughs> Bugs Bunny uh, is my quarterback. I got Road Runner as the running back. He's not one of the beefy backs like a Taz would be, but he is a fast. You know, if he gets past that line, you're not catching you know, him. Definitely getting past that corner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Daffy's the receiver. We already went over that, and that Porky Pig, the stout. Offensive line, the big defensive lineman, and Gossamer. I got Hector the Bulldog as a linebacker, Sylvester as a corner, Marvin the Martian as a safety, and Yosemite Sam yelling at them at the sidelines. Get they shit together. It's going to be a funny ass team to watch, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, on my side of things, I have Elmer Fudd as my quarterback, I have Tasmanian Devil as my running back. I feel like that's an unstoppable force right there. Yeah, um, that's a very good running back. Uh, wide receiver is going to be Speedy Gonzalez, so he so we're going to do a lot of run options probably. Of mm -hmm. Speedy, Speedy just doing a deep. A deep option, and then and then most of the time, probably like seventy percent of the time, we're <laughs> handing it off to Taz. Part of why I was like, should I put Roadrunner as a receiver? Just go routes. <laughs> yeah, <Me>? exactly. <laughs> um, uh, then uh, on my lines, I've got Foghorn Langhorn, big beefy body boy uh, on my offensive line, and then I got on my defense Witch Hazel coming to attack that quarterback. Hopefully, of anyone on the board 
the potential to hug the Tasmanian devil and contain him uh, or the roadrunner uh, in, in, in reverse. Cause Tasmanian would be on my team. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, like yeah. one no, of the no, few no, potentials no, to uh, hug anybody on the, the roster, the line matchups. I like at least the offense, uh, my, your offensive line and my defensive line, the fucking big ass gossamer versus big ass ball court. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> that, gonna that, be, those are, those are it's going to be clashing. Front. As soon as you drafted Gossamer, I was like, all right, I have to, like, I have to get Foghorn. Um, uh, and then uh, on my corner, as you said, uh, um, spent a life pursuing um, <laughs> is, is Wiley Coyote as well on my side of things, just like Sylvester on yours. Uh, I have Tweety as my safety, already explained her. She's going to be playing deep, floating, hovering, eyes on the field, watching for threats. Uh and then I got my head coach, one of the OGs, Michigan J Frog. Hello, my baby. Hello. Oh, like honey. you have you have like the angry stompy coach. I have the one who like comes in the suit and tie still and like and just like walks around and does media really well. <laughs> I'm definitely the angry coach on the sidelines that's dealing with the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like my team's gonna be fun to watch. Like we're, 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 there's going to be a lot of drama, but we're just going to somehow win anyway. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what we did is we built a team where, yeah, I, I have the team of all of the people, like, the villains plus Tweety. Um, and then, and then you, you have, uh, you, you have, like, the main character energy that's absolutely going to win the, like, if this was a Super Bowl yeah, I'm winning the majority of the movie, and then you come from behind and and take the actual victory. Yeah, that's what I'm saying with the Bugs and Daffy thing. It's like they are very volatile. Yeah, but I feel like it's they're at each just... other's throats all game. Now you talked about Space Jam earlier. Earlier, I considered Daffy for defense because of the whole "it's gut check time," and he actually ta he tackled a monster, yeah, <laughs> and rocked him. So. He's a good tackler. I will point that out there. I did consider that. And, but I was just at the time like I the Bugs Daffy connection is too strong to ignore. I, yeah. I, I I agree. Yeah. But all right. So we're declaring Omari won this one. That's fair. That's fair. I'll take it. I mean the people I'll take it on the chin. The people can I, let us know. Yeah, get in those comments. Let us know. Absolutely. And let us know of some different drafts that we might need to do in the future. We love some ideas uh, and taking them and using them as our own. So if you want to catch other stuff of ours, you can catch it on this channel. We got a show on Tuesdays called This Guy Hasn't Seen, where we trade movies and other forms of media back and forth. We also have a show on Saturdays called You Don't Watch Sports, where we talk about the IRL sports in America. You know, three topics by these two guys. Sprinkle a little bit of sports information into your conversation. That's where your guiding light to your seed. That is casual sports talk. I also have a show on Wednesdays with, uh, uh, or we'll be having a show back on Wednesdays, other elsewhere on YouTube called the Whatever We Want Podcast. Do it with a good friend of mine, good friend of the show, Super Jazz. Super talk, Jazz. Thank you very much, if nature intended. We talk about just that, whatever we want. Uh, and I also have a Twitter and Twitch at Giotavi. That is G I O T A V I. Come on in, stop on by. Bill, you got anything you want to say to the folks out there? No, sir. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. And we'll see you later.